Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 51, and today we are talking about crypto again. But why? Well, because I have been doing a lot of thinking about what we have seen from the set photos back in Cleveland, and now with crypto being confirmed and the breed that they chose for him, I have a crazy theory that explains so much. I think it completely makes sense, and I think I know what Gunn is doing. This would connect crypto directly to the man in black who I think has a much deeper meaning in this film, but we also need to talk about the video that Gunn shared on social media, as I think it looks a lot better now. So here is the video shared on Twitter by James Gunn, and then here is the screenshots from the video that everyone was sharing, and then finally, here is the HD crisp shots that James Gunn has just shared, and for me, this looks a whole load better. The main complaint fans had with this shot was that it looked like like it was on a green screen, and I agreed. I even mentioned this in my last video. There wasn't too much depth, and I said it looked flat. And I made the observation that maybe this is just the style that the cinematographer wanted to go with, which is pretty similar to his other flat looks before. And I assumed that is why this photo looked how it did. But with this HD version shared by Gunn, you can really see so much more depth in color, and it doesn't look like a green screen anymore. It feels far more real and if I put them side by side here, you can really see the quality difference and colour difference. And this puts a lot of my initial fears or criticisms to rest. There is more contrast and the colours pop a lot better, and the foreground and background feel far more real. The red on the cape shines better, and the golden shine on Crypto and Clark's shoulders works so much better than on the Twitter video. So this is the HD photo that we should be judging, not the screenshots of a compressed video on Twitter. What I really wish they did was release these promotional videos in 4K on YouTube, where there is far less compression than on X, because on X you can only get up to HD videos, and they still compress those HD videos, which causes a lot of the quality and colour to just disappear. I'm actually surprised that the official DC Studios YouTube channel didn't post this reveal, because I thought with their rebranding, this kind of thing would be ideal for them to post, and with 4.5 million subscribers, their reach is actually far larger than Gunn on Twitter, so I am very surprised that they didn't decide to share that on there. And in 4K, that would have looked so nice too. That was a really wasted opportunity. The only thing I wish they had included with this video though, was just a tease at John Murphy's score. That would have been the perfect time to share what it sounds like, but I guess they already have an idea in mind as to when they should release that. I think the lack of promotion right now shows that they have a plan for that stuff already. Most likely in December at Brazil's CCXP, but we can hope it's this weekend. But anyway, back to this shot of Crypto and Superman. I can't get enough of this shot, and I love it even more now it is in HD. And hopefully you can see the difference, and it has improved how you feel about this shot. I know this was a controversial photo, so hopefully with the improvement in picture quality and colour, you can get a better idea as to how you feel about this. I still would have preferred it if they added some dust to the surface of the moon to just add some more texture to it, but other than that, I think this shot is perfect. It encapsulates who Superman is and the relationship between him and his dog, and also the beauty of the colours. What I would love to see is some talented fans trying to colour grade other set photos of Superman to match the colour grade of this image, so we can see what other shots may look like too. Now I tried my best in the limited amount of time I have to create this edit, and I think it looks alright. I also edit the suit to remove the wrinkles, which I think makes the suits look better too. But overall, I think I've kind of got the right look for this shot. Obviously, through a professional lens and colour grader, it will look a lot better than this, but it's a start. So let me know what you think of the new HD version of the crypto photo in the comments below. Now what has resurfaced is some set photos from the Cleveland set, and I will warn you that they are slightly 
spoilery, so you have been warned. So on there, we can see Superman, but also a dog being fed a treat. Now, I don't know about you, but that dog is a very similar size and color to Crypto. So I think this is a stand-in for Crypto who will be replaced with CGI. Now, I'm not worried about Crypto being made with CGI, as I think they did a pretty good job at creating these animals for the Guardians of the Galaxy films. I think as this movie also has such a long time in post-production, they will get the CGI spot on for him. So I imagine this scene right here is where Superman is maybe lifting something heavy and then Crypto walks up to him and I imagine it will be one of those scenes where Superman is trying to shoo Crypto away so he can focus on saving the day, but Crypto just doesn't listen. But what I think is interesting is this photo of Mr. Terrific holding a box of dog treats. And then this video also shows him running through the streets trying to track someone or something. He then stops in front of a pet shop and realizes that that the front of it has smashed glass, and then he seems to be giving dog treats to whoever he is trying to catch, someone who is down low and then also very high up. So I think it is pretty obvious that this is Crypto, which means that maybe Crypto goes haywire or mind controlled, or maybe he just isn't very well trained at this point. And I think Gunn talking about his own experience with his own dog not being well behaved when he first got him and basically destroying his house and mentioning he wondered what it would be like if his dog had superpowers, which is how Crypto was added into the Superman story, plus these set photos and videos all implies that Crypto won't be a well behaved dog throughout this movie, and I imagine he causes quite a bit of destruction by accident or because he isn't very well trained yet. Which makes me wonder about his origins as a character. Does he arrive on Earth with Superman as a baby, or does he randomly turn up in this movie, or Clark finds him somewhere and rescues him? Because if he arrived on Earth with Superman as a baby, then surely he would have been well trained by now. So I think Clark finds him sometime in this movie and rescues him, maybe from Lex Luthor, which causes the accelerated conflict between the two. Because what is interesting is seeing people clown on the breed of dog that Crypto is, which Gunn says is inspired by his own dog, but he also posted this photo of Crypto from the comics, looking very much like his version of Crypto. Now, people have searched up which version of the dog this is, and apparently this specific version of Crypto didn't have any powers at all in the comics, and also wasn't owned by Superman either. So they clowned on Gunn for trying to defend himself with this choice of dog with a photo of Crypto that isn't the same Crypto that came from Krypton and was Superman's. However, I have got a huge theory which connects Crypto to the Man in Black. I think Gunn is merging storylines together. What if this Crypto starts off as Crypto the Earth Dog with no powers and is sent to a Luther Corp agency which is meant to look after animals, but really ends up being experimented on by Luther's scientists as Luther is trying to create his own version of Superman, but he needs to experiment on animals before going to human trials. So, Crypto ends up as an experiment for Lex Luthor, who maybe uses Superman's DNA somehow to try and create a clone of Superman, and it gives Crypto his powers. Maybe he escapes that lab after gaining his powers, and somehow Superman finds him. And then as Luthor sees the experiment worked on Crypto, he then uses that on a human subject, which then creates the Man in Black. And then maybe a little later on in the movie, after Superman and Crypto have bonded, maybe Crypto Crypto accidentally loses control of his powers, or maybe he just joins Superman to save the day, and then they are ambushed by the man in black and the engineer, who was sent in to bring Crypto back to Luther so he can cover his tracks and so it doesn't look like Lex Luthor has been experimenting on animals to try and recreate Superman. But obviously, Superman fights the man in black and the engineer to try and stop him from taking Crypto, and that causes Superman to be arrested for some reason. It's a crazy theory, I know but I think it actually makes so much sense. And maybe while Superman is fighting the man in black and the engineer, Mr. Terrific is having to try and get Crypto back. Or maybe, as we have seen Mr. Terrific also at the stadium with Superman and the two villains, maybe after Superman has been arrested, it's up to Mr. Terrific
terrific to find and look after crypto while Superman is gone. Whatever the actual answer is, we know that something happens which causes crypto to need to be chased down by Mr. Terrific. But for all we know, they could have filmed multiple scenes in Cleveland for Metropolis that could take place at very different times throughout the movie. So let me know what you think of my theory in the comments below, but also let me know if you have any theories of your own. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on these set photos. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.